basics of SEO, or in other words, search engine optimization. The purpose of SEO is to create a great and seamless user experience, but also communicating to the search engines your exact intentions so that they can recommend your website for relevant searches. But most importantly, SEO is used to help those who are lost become found. Step one, think of your website like a cake. The icing is going to be the links, paid searches, and your social media. The sugar, which really makes the cake, is going to be your content, information, management system, and infrastructure. Without all this, your cake will be tasteless, and so will your website. Step two, what exactly are search engines looking for? First, they will be looking for excellent content such as relevant themes, tons of information, appropriate titles, matching keywords, and effective images. Second on the list is performance. Questions you can ask yourself are, how fast is your site? Is it working properly? Search engines are also looking for authority. Do other websites use your site as reference? Is information readily available? Last, and probably the most important is user experience. It is extremely important that your website is easy to navigate for users, that it looks awesome, and it's safe. Step three, a couple of things that search engines are not looking for. Keyword stuffing. Using too many keywords, this can overexhaust a search engine. Purchase links. Buying or exchanging money for links can always turn into a sticky situation and should be avoided at all costs. The most important thing that search engines are not looking for is poor user experience. If it isn't easy to get around your website, what's the point in the first place? We certainly do not want to confuse people. Step 4. Know your business model. Here are a few questions you can ask yourself. What defines you? What sets you apart from other like businesses? What are your key points? How can you attract users and an audience? What are your goals? Where do you see your business in the future? Can your users trust you? Are you open to your audience? Step five. Optimize multiple channels and reach your audience. It is very important to branch out and reach as many members of the audience as possible. A variety of platforms can be used to reach users. A few examples would be Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, and even as simple as emailing. Step 6. Be consistent with domain names. Keep it simple and use subdirectory root domains. For example, example.com slash hello. Step seven, optimize for different types of results. In order to make sure you're optimizing for different types of results, just make sure your website works properly with desktops, tablets, and mobile cell phones. Step eight, focus on your metadata. Title tags are the part of the meta tags that appear at the top of your HTML inside the head area. Think of title tags like the title of the chapters of a book. It tells people in search engines what your page is about. The title tag should contain important keywords to help the search engine determine what the page is about. Think of your title as a four to eight word ad. Do your best to entice the reader so that they want to click and read more. You should always keep SEO in the forefront of your mind and always follow best practices. Skipping the basics of SEO will only leave your site's foundation a mess and prevent you from fully maximizing revenue opportunities.